This is a financial overview of Cloud Suite Industrial, also known as Sightline or CSI. CSI has a complete accounting system that's fully integrated with all activities in the ERP. Everything that happens in the application flows into accounting, and it's fully GAAP compliant. Every module, every transaction that has any financial consideration flows through to the general ledger. Let's start with order entry and receivables. From customer orders, you perform shipments that will hit cost of goods sold. The shipment sets up invoicing. The invoicing will hit the AR account and starts the aging process for your customers. You can send out that aging on customer statements. Invoices can be automatically emailed to a customer. The same with statements. Invoicing doesn't have to start with a shipment. You can also do progress billing, often based on milestones. If your customers need to return something, you can do returns, RMAs, and credit memos. You can also do a price adjustment invoice. Maybe you just sent out an invoice and forgot to take the discount. Instead of having to do a credit return, you have the ability to easily apply the discount to whatever has already been invoiced. In receivables, there are a number of ways to handle cash application. Traditionally, you get a check from the customer, you locate the invoice, and apply payment. There are other options, including a quick payment application, which will assist you in that matching. And all of this activity flows to the journals, and those journals get posted to the general ledger. You have control over how frequent that will happen. Is it multiple times a day? Is it nightly? Is it weekly? You make that determination. Similar concept on the purchasing side. You create a purchase order, perform the receipt, and values will hit the inventory and an unvouchered receipts account. Once you have an invoice from the vendor and create a voucher, that will move the unvouchered amount to a regular AP account. You also have the option of adding landed cost if desired. You have a number of different ways to generate checks, including a quick payment option. And just like the AR side, all of this rolls up to journal entries, and those journals in turn get posted to the general ledger. For fixed assets, you have the ability to tag your purchases as an asset when they come in, or assign them after the fact. You can also track any subsequent service, repair, or upgrade costs they receive, and that can happen directly from purchase orders. You can also serialize your assets and specify classification codes to help you with reporting. You have many options when it comes to depreciation. You have the ability to have multiple book and tax schedules. These methods are user-defined, giving you additional flexibility. For payroll and human resources, you have the ability to track both labor and employee attendance with full job costing. There's a fully integrated payroll module available, or if you prefer, time can be exported to a third-party payroll system for something like ADP. The payroll application supports hourly and salary paid employees with user-defined paid schedules. Maybe the shop's on a weekly calendar, but the office is bi-monthly. You can make separate check runs. And all the typical deductions are supported, as well as holiday and vacation pay. If you're using an outside payroll system, like ADP, you can also prepare all the data and perform an electronic file transfer to them. Everything that happens on the shop floor, from issuing materials to reporting labor to jobs, and that includes tracking machine time too, feeds right into the manufacturing journals. And the material, labor, and machine time can also have both fixed and variable overhead costs associated with them. In Cloud Suite Industrial, there are a number of supported production methods. You can have discrete jobs, production schedule, Kanban, or just in time. And all the costs roll up to the journals and then to the general ledger. For inventory, all warehouse transactions coming in from jobs, purchase orders, as well as any adjustments made directly or through any cycle count or physical inventory count get tracked and costed. Every material transaction gets tracked in a material transaction audit log. And any costs associated with those transactions get recorded in journal entries that then get posted up to the general ledger. Any of the miscellaneous or adjustment transactions can have department or subgroup codes embedded in them for better cost reviews. CSI supports projects and project costing, including work breakdown structures. You can set up a project, define the terms of revenue recognition. They can be based on milestones or percent complete, and these can feed into progress billing. All the activity, including direct purchases to a project task, as well as costs from jobs, roll up to the project, and then to the journals, and then on to the general ledger. CSI was built to support multi-site and multi-entity. 
Not just different buildings, but different tax IDs, all fully supported. You can generate profit and loss statements by entity. You can have different sites in the same entity that share the same parts and services, or not. You can determine if you want to centralize AR or AP or both. Multiple sites can roll up to a single entity or have multiple entities roll up to a corporate entity. And each entity can have its own reporting periods if needed. CSI supports multi-currency for sites and entities. It can be stated down to the customer level or even on individual documents. The GL ID is a smart ID that's broken down into a natural account and a number of optional unit codes. You define the natural account, then select the segments that apply. The first unit code is typically the department, then the product code. Then you define the remaining segments as needed. This provides true parent-child relationships for easy rollup and you define which unit codes are used with which natural accounts. These unit codes help define which department, product, or user-defined segment make up the full general ledger account.